coronavirus's family tree keeps getting bigger as another variant joins now. Doctors discovered the Omicron variant in South Africa last week. Since then, it has been a scramble to learn as much as possible about this new strain of coronavirus. I'm Ben Briscoe. From now until 6, we're digging into how concerned our local doctors are about this and what the new variant means for the rest of the holiday season. Let's start with what makes this variant different from all the rest. Omicron contains more than 30 mutations to its protein spikes. Some doctors are worried it could be vaccine resistant because of that. The Delta variant only had 16 mutations. President Joe Biden says his team will give him daily COVID updates. He plans on releasing a new plan to address coronavirus this winter. Now, that plan includes developing new vaccines if necessary. We don't know that they are yet. He stresses he doesn't want to freak people out. This variant is a cause for concern, not a cause for panic. We have the best vaccine in the world, <clears throat> the best medicines, the best scientists, and we're learning more every single day. And we'll fight this variant with scientific and, and knowledgeable actions and speed, not chaos and confusion. Part of his response so far includes a travel ban starting today. President Biden says travelers from eight African countries cannot come to the United States. Right now, 14 countries confirm cases of the Omicron variant, including Canada and the United Kingdom. Dr. Anthony Fauci says the travel ban won't keep the new strain out of the U.S. He says that's really unrealistic. Instead, he expects the travel ban to buy the U.S. a few weeks while scientists they continue researching the variants. In fact, a former FDA commissioner went even further. Dr. Dog Gottlieb said the Omicron variant, it's probably already here in the United States. The important thing now is to make sure we can test and trace cases when they pop up. It's almost definitely here already. Just looking at the number of cases coming off planes this weekend, um, it's almost a certainty that there have been cases that have gotten into the United States. We're in a much better place now than we were a year ago when B117 first arrived, or even when Delta first arrived. We're sequencing about 100,000 uh, cases a, a week, which is very good. It's about 20% of all the diagnosed cases. And remember, doctors say it is normal for viruses to mutate. They expected COVID variants to form. And all RNA viruses, they change and evolve over time. As they spread, small changes to those genes are going to happen. Eventually, the changes become significant enough that variants form. That's why doctors found so many. In fact, a John Hopkins doctor says experts discover new COVID variants every week, but only a few of them are important enough to let the public know. So if variants are normal, why do doctors care? Well, they fear that one day, one will form that will outsmart our current vaccine. Right now, all doctors classify most mutations we've seen of variants as variants of concern. That means they are more likely to cause breakthrough infections. Doctors worry a mutation will become a variant of high consequence, meaning current vaccines may not work against them. They want to limit the number of variants that form. They say early data shows Omicron spreads faster. If you look at the data, it does look like it's it's most likely transmitting easier than Delta. We don't know if it's really any worse as far as disease progression or death or hospitalization. So it may be very similar to what we saw with Delta, but all this really has to play out and it's gonna take us probably at least one to two weeks. You're gonna hear this a lot. The big takeaway from all of this, don't panic. Dr. Fauci says it's important to let scientists do their job. We should all wait until they tell us the best way to move forward. People talking about lockdowns, people talking about that. Let's see what the information that we're getting in real time tells us, and we'll make decisions based on the science and the evidence the way we always do. But you want to be prepared to do anything and everything, and that's the reason why we're paying such close attention to this and why we're all over it. And it's not just the national experts. We talked with an infectious disease expert about the variant here in the triad. Dr. Cynthia, Cynthia Snyder says there's still a lot of unknowns. However, she says we do know what works. It's important to stick with the three W's with the new variant circulating. We still are going to rely on the public health tools that exist to help that's taken us this far, which include not only vaccines, uh, testing and masking, 
And those three W's that we've incorporated in the past, we will probably have to do that again, or a little bit more stringent as this winter uh, progresses. The expert from Cone Health says she understands COVID fatigue. A lot of us are tired of wearing the mask and social distancing, but she thinks it's really important to recommit to the three W's. She predicts a bump in cases soon because of the holiday season and people traveling so much. And the doctor also thinks the new variant could make that worse. I, I think we, you know, we've been um, in this for so long, you know, and I think a, a lot of people ha have a lot of fatigue with trying to keep up with the precautions, but we really still need people to do it one more time, you know, and, and, um, and what we do now definitely helps not only your family members, but it helps your local hospital systems from being overwhelmed. This variant is so new, it's hard for doctors here in the United States to know much now. But a doctor in South Africa, where it started, says she noticed an encouraging trend. The chair of their South African Medical Association has personally treated seven patients with the new variant. Now, she says all seven of those cases were, quote, very mild. Most people get this, didn't even lose their taste or smell. But again, that is only seven cases in one hospital. It's important to remember health experts in the United States say we need more case studies before we can decide how dangerous this new variant is. And pharmaceutical companies say they've got plans in place to adapt their vaccines for the new strain if they need to. All the major companies say they already have plans to react on the new variant. Moderna said it's already testing a higher dose booster. Pfizer says it could have a new vaccine ready in 100 days if needed. A new vaccine would be required to have FDA approval, but that would first require the Secretary of the Department of Health and Human Services to declare Omicron a public health emergency. All this talk about the new variant comes as the state's COVID numbers remain pretty high. The state reported more than 1,700 new cases. More than 1,000 people remain in the hospital with COVID. Cone Health says they have 55 patients being treated right now. The statewide positivity rate climbed to 8.3%. That number is 11% in Guilford County. That is more than twice as high as the state's goal of 5%. Here are the two big takeaways from experts about the new variant. Doctors say it could create problems for us. We just can't disregard it because we're tired of the pandemic. However, it's also far too early for us to panic. Scientists have fought this pandemic for nearly two years now. We need to give them time to gather all the information so they can protect us best.